Suicide has become a real problem in our country. Mm. Sometimes it's fueled by drugs, alcohol, depression, or all of those things. Dan comments here with the story of a woman from Toledo who lost her grandson, and she's now taking a bold step to help others. Dan. Suicides become an epidemic for teenagers and young adults. It's the second leading cause of death for that age group behind accidents. Erlene Belcher, or Queen Cookie, channeled her grief into a documentary that's just been posted on Amazon. The story begins in Toledo in 1991. AJ, or Ajene Burt, was born at Toledo Hospital. He was Queen Cookie Belcher's first grandson. Her son was the father the prettiest baby in the world to me because he was my first grandchild and I watched him get born and he was so pretty he was had a happy smile. AJ's parents split his mom took him to Texas where she fell into drug abuse. AJ witnessed domestic abuse when he was just 12 his mother took her life. Set a precedence or a blueprint for him because he never got that off of his mind because he grew up in foster care. And how does a 12-year-old child deal with suicide in foster care? As a teen, A.J. became angry. Trouble with the law. I always persevere, you know, I'm a king. I struggle to survive. Survive the struggle. In 2017, in Texas, A.J., like his mom, took his own life. Queen Cookie took it hard, but turned her despair into helping others keep from the path, contacting a filmmaker to produce a documentary called A Cry for Help. It's on Amazon, follows her trip to retrace AJ's steps that night, visit his grave, talk to people who knew him, prevent it from happening to others. We can't deal with this by ourselves. Sometimes we think we can, but we can't. And I'm trying to make the awareness so it causes people to reach out, hopefully, for help. Queen Cookie told me she'd like to speak to schools, suicide prevention groups, even prisons to tell AJ's story, raise awareness of a problem that is getting worse, not better. I saw the documentary a couple of nights ago. It's very moving. It's something you need to see if you have kids to try to look for the signs. Uh, and it's just a despair uh, as a parent or a grandparent, the, the feeling you go through with that. I can't imagine. And it's, this is an uncomfortable topic for people to talk about. And so anything that gets people talking about it to raise awareness, I mean, because that's the thing that can save lives is just getting people to open up and talk. We're finally right? talking about it. Yeah. yeah. Awareness. All right, Dan, thanks so much. Look,